The Netherlands will supply Ukraine with 28 Viking tracked vehicles as part of the country's ongoing support against Russian aggression. Dutch Defense Minister Ruben Breckelmans made the relevant announcement on Saturday. Ukraine desperately needs our help in the fight against the Russian aggressor. Our support to Ukraine continues in order to keep Russia at bay, Breckelmans said on X social media platform. Earlier, on Thursday, Breckelmans told Dutch public broadcaster that, if a missile is launched from Russia, you can intercept it with an F-16 over Russia. The Dutch official stressed that the laws of war allow Ukraine to target military sites in Russia if attacked. The supply of these versatile vehicles is expected to dramatically boost Ukrainian troops' capabilities with regards to combat operation in amphibious and difficult terrains. Vikings provide Ukrainian troops with improved mobility and protection. They will allow for more effective maneuvers in diverse landscapes, including waterlogged areas. Recently, it became known that General of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Alexander Pavlyuk, was on a secret visit to Dresden, where he discussed Kiev's needs on the battlefield with NATO commanders. The meeting itself lasted from August the 27th to the 29th, Build reports. Commanders from 35 countries attended the meeting. The event was hosted by German Army Inspector General Alphonse Meiss. Among those present was UK Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces in Africa and Europe, Daryl Williams. No commander was to speak to the press. During the visit, Germany showed its allies the latest weapons developments. The Sky Ranger wheeled system, which was developed to combat drones, was interesting. The price is 18 million euros. The maximum speed of the system is 100 kilometers an hour. The automatic cannon has a caliber of 30 millimeters. It can shoot down drones within a radius of 3 kilometers, and if armed with Stinger missiles, the radius increases to 9 kilometers. The RCH-155 unmanned howitzer also attracted interest. Its price is 10 million euros. It can fire at the enemy at a speed of up to 30 kilometers an hour. It fires up to 9 shots per minute. The range is 54 kilometers. These howitzers were ordered by Ukraine. It will receive them in 2025 in the amount of 52 units. Recall amid murmurings in Berlin that the country may curtail its military support for Ukraine, the German government recently confirmed a long list of scheduled deliveries for Kyiv, including dozens of armored vehicles, rocket launchers, and tens of thousands of rounds of ammunition. Among the equipment, the government reaffirmed it would send by the end of the year are two additional Iris-T SLM air defense systems, two Iris-T SLS launchers, 10 Gepard anti-aircraft guns, 16 Panzer Hobbits 2000 howitzers, as well as Zuzana and RCH-155 self-propelled howitzers, combat drones, several thousand rounds of artillery and ammunition for armored vehicles, and a batch of 30 Leopard 1A5 tanks. Germany is Europe's most significant backer of Kyiv's defensive fight against Russian invaders, providing over $15.5 billion in support, mostly military, between when the invasion started in February 2022 and the end of June 2024, according to the Kiel Institute for the World Economy's Public Tracker. Meanwhile, already authorized German weapons deliveries will continue in 2025. In the next calendar year, more than 20 PZH-2000, Zuzana and RCH-155 howitzers, 20 Marder infantry fighting vehicles, 37 Leopard 1A5 Gepards, 3 Iris-T SLM systems and also 3 Iris-T SLS systems, as well as 2 Skynex air defense systems and thousands of rounds of ammunition will be transferred to Ukraine.